What's up guys, Chris Cove here. About to go and take some photos of my neighborhood. I uh, hope you can see me. This is a little dark. I'm in my room right now, as you can see. Uh, there's some light in my room. Just uh, trying to do a vlog for What's With Chris. I haven't did anything for this for a few days now. And uh, so I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna take some photos and we're gonna see what we can find. I've been uh, I'm doing it so late because I was doing uh, my class assignments. Uh, I'm in school, as you all know, because I see it all the time. I'm in school, I'm working, and I'm doing YouTube, so I'm trying to uh, make all this stuff happen. And what I was doing earlier, it was causing me to have to go out here so late, so it's dark and it doesn't look good. It's gonna be on me, but I don't think I can do it. So give me a minute, I'm gonna get set up. I'm in the dark right now, but I'm still here, I'm still here. I wanted to get a good uh, time of day. I wanted to get a good time of day, so I, uh, I thought maybe right now would be great, but it being so dark out, I may be fooling myself. So let's see. You can see me. I can see me. Let's see what I can find. I go this way all the time. I'm gonna go, let's see. Let's go this way. I don't just want the uh, nightlife, I want some good photos. And I want to see if... What's up guys, Chris Colbert here. Just coming to you to tell you about my new marketing agency. CMG Marketing Group, uh, Colbert Marketing Group. CMG Global Studios.net, you can see it here. Uh, we are on the web. We are the agency that is gonna make you the best possible small to medium sized business that you can be. Give us a call now at 415-605-9408 and let us assess the opportunity we have for you. Thank you. So that was a great one. I uh, uploaded in the uh, timeline in a minute. It's a lot of good stuff out here. Uh, I don't know where to start. Let's see. As you can see over here, we got the uh, building. Uh, it's it's kind of like, uh, I want to say, uh, I took architectural history and I don't even know what kind of building that is. That is terrible. Am I learning anything? It's, <laughs> it's up to, you know, am I learning anything? But I think so. Uh, what I should be doing is uh, taking more pictures, but there's so much to see, so many pictures to take. I don't want to take the picture of the same thing. All these buildings are kind of styled the same from, uh, I guess it would be from around 1920 or maybe even later than that, maybe even in 2000. Uh, I know the last apartment I stayed in uh, before I moved on campus was was founded in like uh, 2014. And uh, I don't know this area that well, but I know that some of these buildings are uh, maybe modern, just styled in the old style. So. So I can tell you what style it is. Maybe I have to look it up and uh, and tell you. There's usually uh, placards on some of these buildings that uh, tells you when the building was erected. And I haven't seen any in this neighborhood, but I know that uh, out here in California, it's like that. So, now this uh, this city 
It's full of rich history. Like I said, it started in 1880 something with the uh, European settlers. And uh, so, let's see if I can find a plaque. No, that's not a plaque, that's a security car, security uh, thing. Let's see, let's see. Nope, anyway. Uh, San Francisco started in like 1880 with the uh, European settlers and uh, they built this off of uh, naval shipments and a harbor. So, we came to the financial center of the West and it still looks like the money that they made being is uh is being is being spent then and it's you know it's still kind of important now. Let's see, is this a plaque? That's an earthquake one. But if it was built in 1880, if, it, if the city started in 1880 and some of these buildings were 1920 or 1900s, that's not that far apart. And Oh, my shoe is untied. Hold up. No, you're fine, you're fine. There we go. Let me take some more pictures. Hold on. So like I was saying, if this uh, stuff was founded in 1980 and the buildings were erected in 1920 to uh, 1900s to 2000, it's not that far apart. Even if it's in the 2000 and 2014 or something like that, which doesn't seem likely with the amount of buildings that's here and the amount of uh, space in between them and the availability of resources and, you know, uh, construction people to put it together that's only a few hundred years so check this out that's good get a little closer to it so you can see me and see it these gates I mean I don't know what people are using for construction material nowadays with the uh, home builders uh, associations doing so much but this looks kind of like old world material. Look at the circles and the uh, the style of it. So if you see if you can see that you might not have could have because I'm moving fast. I only have so long to be uh, out here because it's uh, a little chiller tonight. As you see I got on a sweater, a coat and a shirt, two shirts. It's a uh, it's windy out. I haven't had my dinner yet. 
and it's approaching seven, I believe. I may have found a placard though. Let's see. No, well, that's not a placard. That's just uh, yes, actually it is. Look at that. Can you see that? Founded in 1900. Family, Holy Family Day Home or something like that. 1900. Let's see this building. Okay, so I got that, uh, got that building. I'll lay, load that one also. As you can see, it's found in like 1900. So that means uh, it's really old. At least a thousand, a hundred years old. So, no, what is that? Is that a... Uh, yeah, a hundred years old. Something like 120 some years old. And it kind of looks like it's in the Spanish style. Spanish, uh, possibly, uh, I don't know the correct term. I'm not an expert in this. I took one class in this. But the building across the street, let's see if there's a placard on it. Actually, it's a church. I might not want to go over there this uh, late at night because that happened to me back in my home hometown and I kind of got. Uh, <laughs> kind of got questioned by authorities, so I'm just gonna take a picture of it, and that'll probably have to do. All right, guys, I, that's kind of about to do it for me. I got to get ready to go in. It's getting cold out here. My nose is starting to drip. Uh, I don't have any night quill or day quill, so I'm going to have to get in inside. I got work tomorrow. I got school tomorrow. That's going to be about it for me. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.